All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a topic that I've never discussed on the channel before, but honestly, I'm pretty familiar with because I've been using it in my day job for a very long time. We're going to be discussing borescopes today, in particular, digital borescopes from Teslung. They've got a borescope that's a more rigid version that we're going to be looking at for both the pistol and the rifle, and then they have a flexible borescope, which I find very interesting as well. Actually, my first time experiencing a flexible borescope. The other cool thing is they have two main options, a USB borescope as well as a Wi-Fi borescope that interfaces with your phone so you can take it on the go depending whether you're inspecting barrels at a gun shop or just inspecting parts no matter where you're at. Uh, both of these tools are pretty slick. The other cool thing is these are some of the most affordable high quality borescopes I've seen in a very long time and that's honestly why I stayed away from borescopes so long on the channel. I just felt like it wasn't really worth the investment that we were paying at my day job to just bring it home for a hobby. But now with the affordability of borescopes, especially these two in particular, at least these two versions, it really makes sense for the average gun guy to grab one, especially if you're buying surplus firearms, um, fixing firearms, especially if you're a gunsmith or a wide variety of other applications. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. Now, I actually started off using borescopes uh, at my day job. So I'm an engineer by trade, and this is actually a part I pulled out of the scrap bin, but this would be a great option to start inspecting flow channels and flow pass. A lot of times when you're machining or cutting parts you can get burrs and leave things in the channel and we will be taking a look at this part through a borescope and it's pretty darn cool so that's how I started using them but they were always very expensive or clunky these two right here are really elegant so Teslong sent out this guy right here which is one of the digital borescopes and this is the flexible one that you're looking at right here it's a pretty slick interface and what I've noticed about both the USB as well as the Wi-Fi versions are that they're interchangeable. So the scopes themselves are identical. It's just the hookup method. So if you're using the Wi-Fi version, you actually use the Wi-Fi cord and the Wi-Fi module, and you can hook it up to whatever bore scope. If you're using the USB version, you'll actually grab the USB cord, which hooks up then to the end of the bore scope, and you can plug it into any computer. So I'm using a Dell laptop. This was absolutely plug and play for the USB one. It just popped right in and you're good to go. And then the Wi-Fi version, you simply download an app and it's really clear in the instruction manual and once you download the app it works out really well these guys were actually founded in 2009 they ship worldwide and they have a 30-day free returns policy and they have some really good quality video depending on what you're using them for uh, the other cool thing is these guys have a lot of guys working for them. Uh, they've had over 40 people over there, and they're an, actually an ISO certified manufacturing. So they know what they're doing when it comes to producing things, and it's working out really well. The other cool thing is they're fairly affordable. So the Wi-Fi versions start at about $89, and actually the Wi-Fi module is on sale for $35.99. If you happen to buy the USB version and want to switch over to the Wi-Fi module, you can do that as well. And then the rigid and flexible bore scopes that use just the USB hookup start at $45 for the small pistol version. And this is the small pistol version bore scope that you see right here, or the flexible version, which we're actually going to be looking at for $70. Now, depends on what you want to do. If you're looking to inspect different things on the go and you want to bring your phone with you, the Wi-Fi version is really elegant because if you're at a gun shop, you can simply plug it in and check the bore of a surplus firearm before you buy it. Or if you happen to be selling a lot of guns and you want to actually show customers videos or especially if you're doing things online this is really easy to capture files both of them are able to record the usb plugs and play again right with the dell laptop and uses the built-in camera on your computer or the camera software to run it and you can record there and it saves it to your files locally also, you can save to your files locally using the Wi-Fi version and the app, so you can just pull it up and send different videos. If you've got a question or you know that guy who understands surplus farms, you can take one of these out, records videos, and sends it so it works out really well. So, so far, I'm a huge fan of both of these, but what I want to do is actually show you them in use. So let's switch over to the USB. This is something that I captured with the USB through a few different barrels and through an actual engineering part. And then if you're a car guy, you'll know if you drop a bolt somewhere and you're hard to find it or you're looking at different things, this is a great option as well. But let's switch over to that USB footage. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is actually a part from my day job. So 
It's an engineering component and you can really use this as a great inspection tool to dig in deep, whether you're looking at parts uh, that you've had machined or custom made or even parts for your car or your vehicle or different locations where you may not be able to see with the naked eye. This is an incredibly versatile and flexible tool allowing you to inspect a wide variety of different parts and components. A lot of times when you're cutting channels, you wanna check for burrs, contamination, different things like that. And this is a great option as you can see right here here, detecting a burr. If this was a flow channel and that burr would dislodge, it could potentially get stuck in any tubing hookups or anything like that, causing issues in the future. Now, this is just one example of how it could be used in a part or your car, but now transitioning more to a rifle approach. This is actually coming out of a 223 barrel into a suppressor. So you could use this to inspect the carbon buildup in a closed suppressor. A lot of rifle cans are welded at both ends, and that's what we're looking at here a fully welded and sealed rifle can. So the only way to inspect baffle strikes, carbon buildup, or damage to your can uh, would be something like this. And it works out perfectly, especially with the right angle options. Now this is actually looking down a SKS barrel. So this is an older SKS. I wanted to check out the bore. You can again, bring this with you to wherever you need to go, hook it up to a computer and start inspecting. This also gives you ability to check out different things like the lands and grooves, any type of corrosion, pitting, and over surplus rifles, especially with the right angle tool, and that's what you're looking at right now. You can also use the right angle tool to inspect uh, different gas ports. So this is a gas port on the SKS. You can see if it's fouled up, clogged up, uh, containing contaminants, burrs, uh, problems, issues if you're having cycling. So just a great option there as well. Now this is looking down a 22 long rifle barrel, one of my Savage Mark II's been running some rounds through it, haven't cleaned it. So what we're gonna do is kind of see how bad it is. And then I'm gonna run a patch down it. And this is what it looks like after I ran a couple of patches down and some solvent, cleaned it right up. And you can make sure for cleaning purposes, again, what it looks like. Now, this is a right angle attachment. Again, you can also dim that light to really make sure you got all of that letting out of your 22. Letting in a 22 is a huge problem. So this is going to allow you to inspect all those lanes and grooves to really make sure you got all the lead out. Now, if you want to see a leaded barrel, take a look at this. This is a kel P17 completely leaded up. And I've actually had a baffle strike in a 22 suppressor because of this. I use this continuously suppressed um, in a wide variety of applications because it's a really awesome platform, but it does let up really fast. Don't know if the gun, but here is after we put some uh, lead remover in there, cleaned it up. You can actually look at it really good, make sure everything's good to go. And you can tell that the lead is out of the barrel to prevent baffle strikes and things like that, or just retain the accuracy if you're not using a suppressor. So this is such a great inspection tool for a wide variety of applications. So I hope it shows you really its versatility in a wide variety of applications, especially with the lighting adjustments. So you can see how well that worked. And I hinted at a couple of things in that right there, which is the fact that it comes with a bunch of mirrors inside there. And these are 45 degree mirrors. So you actually thread the mirrors on the end of the bore scope. And what that allows you to do is inspect at a 45 degree angle. You can also inspect different uh, gas ports on different rifles. These are actually 0.2 in diameter. So that allows you to go into any 22 rifle on up. But now when you're in a 22 rifle, it focuses really good when you thread it all the way into a particular location. But then when the bore is a little bit larger, like a 30 cal, you can actually adjust this tensioning ring out and thread the mirror on and get a different focal length that explains everything in the manual, but it works out really well and it's incredibly versatile. Sorry, it's having a hard time focusing. So this will work on a 22 rifle on up and you can see how critical it is for a 22. A lot of times 22 will have lead buildup like I showed you guys and it's a really good inspection tool. And again, it just checks for pitting and things like that. But let's actually switch over now to the um, Wi-Fi version. I'll show you it being used on one of my older phones and how well it works. So now let's discuss the Wi-Fi version and this one works both on iPhone and Android and once you download the app you simply select the Wi-Fi signal under the Wi-Fi tab and you'll connect the camera and it works out great. It powers up and I believe has an over four hour battery life on the module itself so that's pretty darn slick. Everything is actually powered from this so it's powered and it sends out the Wi-Fi signal and again you can buy this in the pistol version, the rifle version, or the flexible version. I feel like the flexible is the most handy but the pistol version is pretty slick too and if you're a mobile mechanic um, or you want to put something in like a car kit or something like that for uh, and you're always tinkering with cars or you're always building out things uh, this is a great inspection cool that 
inspection tool that you can take with you anywhere. So if you are at a gun shop and you do want to inspect the surplus rifle board, a check for pitting, things like that, or different components, uh, you just simply insert that, turn on the Wi-Fi, and now you can see right there on your iPhone the bore itself and how cool is that so you can rotate it really easily you can attach that 45 degree mirror and check gas ports if they're clogging up so there is a wide variety of applications for this thing and all you actually have to do is click the record button and now you can see it's recording and you can record it if you're about to uh, sell this or market this you could go ahead and send the videos of a surplus rifle and you simply click that button you're done recording and it saves to your files so that is Pretty darn slick, actually, that one's still going. There we go, right there. Now also, too, if you want to inspect the part and you're in the engineering field or a wide variety of other applications and you wanted to send like, oh no, I, I know there's an issue with this part, um, let me show you guys one of the channels. So here's a flow channel in this part right here and you can, you can start to see we're coming up on a port right there. And it focuses really good and you can see there's no, uh, burrs or anything on that port, but there is some slight contamination, um, some oil, some drill debris. And if that's a flow channel, it's a highly sensitive instrument. You can be like, hey, you guys, you know, you didn't clean out that bore channel. You need to clean it out more. But so there's a wide variety of applications for this. I really like both of them. And honestly, when you buy the entire setup like this, if you buy one of the Wi-Fi versions and then one of the USB versions, you can swap out the cords like I talked about earlier. You can mix and match. And again, I want to reiterate their point too. So they work on any 22 caliber hole or bigger. And a lot of times um, you're going to be looking at parts as well with a lot of flow channels and different things cut at a quarter inch bit. Um, so this is going to fit right in there, no issues whatsoever. So I, I feel like there are so much to talk about and there's so many cool features uh, about these little guys. I could make this video go on and on and on and I'm kind of nerding out because I am really excited about an option that's so affordable that it, I can use in my professional life as well as my personal life. Uh, so it's a pretty awesome option. I'll leave all the linking in the description below, all of the information. You guys can uh, check out everything you need over there. Um, and again, a huge shout out to test long for sending these over with i mean without them i wouldn't have given it a try so i'm super glad i did pretty cool options i can highly recommend them thanks for watching guys have a good one